Welcome, problem solving fans, to another problem of the day. And this one is all about Jeff's book and what an exciting read it looks too. Monday, he was so excited he read a third of the book. And on Tuesday, he read three tenths of the remaining pages. And that word remaining will be crucial shortly. Now, he's got 35 pages left to read. And we've got to figure out how many pages are in the whole book. Now, the easiest way to do this, anytime you've got a wordy problem like this with different fractions and a total, easiest thing to do is set yourself up a bar model and see where it takes you. So let's start with the Monday clue. On Monday, he reads one third of the book. So let's split that bar into thirds. And on Monday, he read one third of the book. So if we rub out that one third to show that he read that on Monday. On Tuesday, he reads three tenths of the remaining pages. Now, what we need to do here is realize that these two bits, these two thirds are the remaining pages. And this one third that we've shaded in yellow is the bit that he read on Monday. So we'll put mun for short. So he reads three tenths of the remaining pages. Now we've only got two pieces left here remaining, but it's st suddenly started to talk about tenths. So we really need to split these two pieces into ten pieces. So to make ten pieces, we could split this first piece into five, and split that's five pieces, and split the second piece into another five, and that would give us ten pieces. And now let's go back to the clue. On Tuesday, he reads three tenths of the remaining pages. So now we've made the remaining pages into tenths. He reads three out of those tenths. So let's shade in another three. One, two tenths, three tenths. And it says he's got 35 pages left to read. So this 35 pages left to read basically represents the remaining pages at the end of Tuesday. So this distance here is worth 35. But there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces left on the bar. So we need to split 35 into seven. And 35 divided by seven is five pages. So each of those spots must be worth five, 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 and one more five. But don't forget the other tenths that are there would also be worth five, so five, five, and five. And seen as we split each of those thirds into five pieces, we should really do the same with the third that he read on Monday. So that now needs to become five pieces, and each of those five pieces would also be worth five pages. Now, seeing as this bar is representing the whole book, the whole book is basically going to be 15 lots of 5. So if we work out 15 lots of 5, we know how many pages are in the book. Well, 15 times 5, here we go. 5 5s are 25, put the 5 in, carry the 2. 5 1s are 5, plus the 2 is 7. So the final answer is that this book has 75 pages.